containers in each house has a storage. It has a central storage. They know what they are doing. I am not going to take this. We are not going to take it. That fury must stop. All the houses in that street, in that estate, are built in the same pattern, in the same fitting. I personally put my life on, the, on risk to go and investigate. They all have cameras, including the staircase. I will tell you all the positions of where the cameras are. Now that the police will go into the house and somebody will say there is no camera and they turn their back. Even the camera in front of the house that is still there. In Bolon Storsi, why can't the police bring where the storage is? If anybody, whoever is in charge of the CCTV storage, the central storage, they, they must bring all of us, the family, the f lawyers, the police, we must all check together. If anything is missing, the person in charge of CCTV should be charged for murder. Conspiracy to commit murder. Because yeah. that is the truth. Untambo for you to join here. I guess so tough we need. Oh no, boy, your camera and ule. Oh look, I never could see camera. Camera to fish bo bonu le con coni estate yen. Consistory gen ule yen. All stuff see because T security estate yeni. I want to def shut out the more tolerant what you look on. They are after my life. If anybody anything happened to me. Hold those in the house. Timo Badiku, hold them responsible. Yes. Hold all the police officers that are investigated. Hold them responsible. Yes. If they want to bring the truth out, they should go. They know they should give a judgment. The police should get a warrant from the court. They should go to the central unit. Timo Bobo CCTV, Ile Konko, Tostosi, Iuto Shele, Boshe, Kwe, Mimo Badi, Kedereni, everybody, Mari. Who was there? You will see. And that is where we are going. Yes. If it had a lot here, accept that, that estate, oh my God, Lido. Then, yes. See, I want to one estate here, Tim Bobo, I think JD, oh my God. If they will not come together and say, release the footage of Boba's interior building to the police, release it to the public, if they will not come together, that estate is our mother. Yes. We are challenging everybody in that estate yes. to search their conscience. If you wash your hand off Boba's death, can you wash your conscience? Do you want to gain from your children? Does that mean you're going to live longer? Does that mean you're going to make heaven? Does that, does that, does that justify that you are holy? Speak the truth for us. But I repeat, they are fitted the same way. Cameras are fitted in each section of each house. Removing the cameras for physical examination does not remove the storage. The person in charge of the IT and camera in that estate is they should bring the person in. The head of security in that estate should be brought in. I am saying the truth now, and that is where the truth is. Whatever they like, they now do. If everybody chooses to be silent about that, I have done my best. That is where the truth is. That is where the truth is. You will see it there. And it is still sitting in that estate. It's sitting there. They should, if they know it's not true, they should allow us access to the CCTV. Yes, Thank you so very much. And I understand people are around us. There are so many things that are wrong. Who says what you are not? I don't know if you know that. I can um, a force who tries to balance issues between the world and the But however, I can tell you, sir, I just need two things that you need to understand. The reason why you are so what do you expect the court and the government to do? To just kill what? I'm coming. Just kill me. Yes. Your name from the beginning. Pardon? Yes. Your name? Sir. All right. Um, my name is Yeme Fabi. And it is not a truth that I was not there from inception. The case met me while I was on world tour. And I want to believe I'm one of the first or second or third person 
that started posting and was demanding justice from Obad. And I was about the first person to write an official letter. I was the first person to take a bold step and initiated that a peaceful protest should be initiated so that we can have the truth out. But of course, fighting for justice, fighting for human rights is not competition. So we don't need to know who is number one, who is number two. It is one of those theories that they will use to try to gag or to weaken the quest for justice. There is no, there is no time that is too late. Until, uh, even if justice is served, people can still queue in into justice. So whoever wants to come in now can still come in because at the end of the day, nobody, including those that thought they started, they don't know what killed Mubad, who killed Mubad. Even the police don't, don't even know yet. So it means that the case is still as fresh as anything. It's quite unfortunate, one year down the line, it's making it look like it's been a long time. But kudos to those that held forth on social media and all of that. We are all there, we are fighting. But now that I feel like, okay, the case is getting weaker, and I need to stand in fully, come out fully, and I need to come out when it will look like I'm in competition with anybody. Because, of course, we live in a society, and social media, they find a way to misconstrue things. And I don't want to make it look like I am after anybody or I'm trying to rival somebody. And that was what I was acting, propagating the you know, the gospel of justice underneath. However, when I look at the whole matter, I was able to do my quick, proper investigation through my NGO, Break the Silence Foundation, and I noticed some certain lacunas, and I felt like, okay, you know what? I have to give back to the society. It is not gonna be about me alone. I have to understand that every other person deserves and have right to life. Every other person has got right to live. Bobad has got right to justice, but he's not alive to demand justice. What is my duty? Duty of care. I need to stand in for him like every other person. And I felt it's still the right time because at the end of the day, we still want closure. We want justice. We want people to be tried for the crime because only, only an hypocrite will consider or conclude that that was a natural death. And at the end of the day, we realize that number one thing from my investigation, CCTV have been installed in all the houses, in and outside. In that kind of a building, there is, no, there is no sense that they will install CCTV outside and they will not be inside. And if you go and do your investigation as a journalist, ask for the audience of neighbors around. Ask them to that have the same building like Mubad, in the same street, in the same area. Ask them to open their houses. You will realize eventually that it is only the interior of Mubad's house that there is no CCTV. Then it, it, it makes you, you, know, make you, you have a conscience to say, why? It was when this person is claimed to have been killed in the house or died in, in the house, that is when his own CCTV is missing. Who did this job? Who is trying to obstruct police investigation? That is a serious criminal offense. That is trying to play on the intelligence of the people. And secondly, I, from my investigation, all the CCTV in all the, all the, each, all the houses, in each flat, they are not stored in that house. They don't have a central, they have a central storing system in that estate under the auspices of a security team and then the person in charge of the cctv and the head of the security needs to be you know police need to act quickly because there is nothing in that that can be deleted they cannot delete except they want to delete the entire footage of the estate so naturally the evidence is still lying there and that is where they thought that if they can take this away if they can bribe their way, if they can get law enforcement to compromise, that truth will die a natural death. And I'm saying it to them, not on your life. How many do you want to kill? We are fighting that children, everybody should be safe. That is what we all owe. But what do you want to give to your country with the little time you want to spend on earth? How are you going to continue to give in fear of death? That is not what you should be getting scared of because at the end of the day, if you live in your country as a prisoner, you're already dead. You'd rather die as a free man than, than live than live as a prisoner in your own country, where it's democratic. So those are the things they need to do. And then phone forensic. What is stopping the police? It's not going to cost them anything. The only thing that would rather probably cost money is the person that will go into the cameras, into the storage, and then drag out. Meanwhile, because it's iCloud, the central services, it's just a matter of the date. They type the date, to take them to all the footages of a particular building, and they will see clearly. And they, that scene must not, that day must not be missing because the camera was working on that day. There are evidence that it is working on that day. If they say we are lying, they should open the story. The judge should give another. Our police should get 
and all that, the family, the lawyer, as well as the police should go to the system and see for themselves what transpired that day from day one, from 1 to oh, um, 12 zero, zero, to 12, to 12 uh, 11 59 pm. You will see the truth. And let the people, let's, let's let the world, let us know the truth and so that we can have closure. So, why is everybody dodging away from that? Why do they think the Nigerian people are not intelligent enough to know that? Because at the end of the day, none of the houses, go and do your research, none of the houses there, they have CCTV staircase everywhere, but they don't have a, they don't have a storage in their, in their flat. There is a central storage system. That is the person that they need to bring to question it. The head of security, and, then, and they, they should speak to the conscience of people living in that estate. They have a CDA meeting. They should tell them, don't make your estate a vineyard of murderers. Don't harbor murder, don't harbor homicide. We don't know who is next. And of course, food forensic is crucial. Who is involved? Was, was it a call from outside? Did anybody, was the door open for somebody to come and perpetrate this crime? Was it a conspiracy? It is a likelihood, it's a possibility. There are cameras on the street. They should approach them, get a court injunction. Check well, I did my district investigation. They should meet with them and say, okay, from our visibility studies, this camera can help. There is another one at the uh, entrance. It can help. I know they, they sent a message to them long time ago that they should contribute money. Why Bobad was alive for that CCTV? And of course, I'm very sure he must have contributed. Even if he doesn't contribute, the CCTV on the edge of the street is still there. And it captures everything. We'll be able to see the inflow and outflow and the timing. It will lead us easily. Science and technology has killed a lot of evils. Why are they making us look stupid in this country? Why are we, why are we going to continue like this? Is this what we want to give to our children? Because if you give birth to children and you're silent, you're scared, you don't want to help your children.